Hi there. Welcome to a Smart RX update, keeping you in step with the latest laws and regulations addressing the opioid epidemic in Ohio. This update addresses House Bill 4, signed into law by Governor John Kasich on July 17, 2015. House Bill 4 makes the anti-overdose medication naloxone, also known by the brand name Narcan, available without a prescription. This update breaks down what the new law means. Naloxone hydrochloride reverses the effects of opioids on the brain. It works by displacing opioid molecules and returning the victim to normal respiration. If it turns out the patient was not experiencing an overdose, naloxone will not cause harm when administered. Since 2014, peace officers have been able to administer naloxone to reverse overdoses. Friends and family members of people likely to experience an overdose have also been able to acquire naloxone, but only with a medical prescription. House Bill 4, however, allows pharmacists and pharmacy interns under the direct supervision of a pharmacist to dispense naloxone without a prescription to people considered at risk of an overdose, or to friends, family, or people who work with those who may be at risk, residents' life staff, counselors, teachers, and so on. This doesn't mean, however, that anyone can walk into a pharmacy today and walk out with naloxone. Rather, each pharmacy must have a physician-approved protocol in place. The Ohio Board of Pharmacy provides a sample protocol on its website, as well as a guidance document and patient counseling brochure. Physicians, too, can personally furnish naloxone in accordance to an established protocol without a prescription under the new law. While there is currently no sample protocol available for physicians looking to personally furnish naloxone because of many overlapping requirements, referencing the sample protocol for pharmacies may be helpful. A guidance document is also available for physicians regarding the new law. Check the Learning Center for this course or the Board of Pharmacy's website for details. Counseling patients who are receiving naloxone is required whether a pharmacist, pharmacy intern, or physician is dispensing it. Individuals are instructed to summon emergency services as soon as possible, either before or after administering naloxone. Counseling also must cover the risk factors, prevention strategies, and signs of opioid overdose, as well as the steps to take when responding to an overdose. Finally, patients must be educated about naloxone, its storage and expiration, and the procedure for administering it. As always, this counseling should be appropriately documented. In the Learning Center, we've linked to a number of resources from the State Board of Pharmacy and other agencies that can support patient counseling efforts. Naloxone is an effective tool in the reversal of opioid overdoses, and the new law helps put it into the hands of those who need it most. When furnished in accordance with the physician-approved protocol, physicians and pharmacists are not liable for the actions of any person to whom the naloxone has been dispensed. That wraps up this Smart RX update. Keep an eye out for future updates as the state and medical community continue to work together to address the opioid abuse epidemic in Ohio. And if you haven't done so, spend an hour taking the SmartRx courses. They'll get you up to speed fast on the latest laws and regulations governing the use of opioids in Ohio.